If you have taken two or multiple fixed charts with a small difference, then we can use the difference in motion to enhance the photo. Let's take a look at this example. I have two photos of a campfire. As you can see, there is a slight difference between the photos. To see the difference, we can use the difference blend mode and we get an interesting effect. Let's utilize this to enhance the first photo. First, I'll make a duplicate of the bottom layer and group this with the second photo with the difference blend mode. We can now use the group to blend with the first image. A good option would be the add blend mode, which will make the fire brighter. But we can also do the opposite by using the subtract blend mode. I do like the effect of this as fire gets dimmed down and we get more detail inside the fire. Pretty cool. Another way of getting the difference between two layers is using an inverted image. Let's reset our document and start all over. This time I will add an invert adjustment and move it as a child to the top layer so it gets only applied to that layer. When we change the blend mode to average or set the opacity to 50%, we get a very similar image as with a different blend mode, but instead of black, gray will be the dominating color. Just like before, I'm going to duplicate the first image and group it with the inverted image. This way we can now apply the resulting image in a different blend mode. The advantage of the grey color is that we can now use blend modes where grey is the neutral color, like overlay. But first, let's try color dodge. The effect is a bit too strong on the highlights, but when we modify the blend ranges from the blend options, we do get a very nice result, where we not only made the fire stronger, but also have brightened the surrounding areas. Pretty awesome. Optionally, we could add an additional HSL adjustment to the group and lower the saturation to zero, so that our blend image does not make changes to existing colors. In this case, the effect is minimal, but in some cases, it might help to get better results. Let me reset the blend range for the group and apply it in overlay blend mode. By the way, if I select the normal blend mode, we can see the effect of the HSL adjustment. When we apply this grayscale image in overlay blend mode, we get this nice subtle touch of sharpness to the image. If you want to go a bit more extreme, the divine blend mode is the blend mode you're looking for. Let's change the blend range on the source layer to make it less extreme and we made the fire stronger in the image. By the way, we can also utilize this same effect on videos. I'm using CapCut, but you can do the same in DaVinci Resolve or any video editing software which has support for blend modes. We have a nice stable shot of a rainy day. Using the motion difference method, we can sharpen the rain. First, I'll duplicate the video track, which you can do in CapCut by holding the Alt or the Option key while dragging the clip. We need to invert the duplicates we just created. As far as I know, CapCut does not have an invert filter, but we can use the curves from the Adjustment tab. Let me quickly invert all the layers, which as a result gives us an inverted video clip. When I go back to the main video settings and lower the opacity of this inverted clip to 50%, we get a nice grey screen. As this clip is in sync with the original clip below, there is no difference. But when I move a couple of frames forward in time and shift the inverted clip, notice how we now get the difference in motion. I will use this to sharpen or enhance the rain. To do that, we first need to group these two clips. Grouping is called Compound in CapCut and after selecting the two clips, I can right click and select Create Compound. Now that we have our compound clip, we still need the original to blend it with. I will move up the compound clip and drag the original below. If we change the blend mode of the compound to overlay, we get this nice subtle effect where the movements, which in this case the water drops on the water, are sharpened. The effect will probably not be visible in the preview, but when we export and compare, you can see the difference. 
I hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Until the next video.